howdy everybody on a Christmas Eve. Um, I've got this uh, 1989 Grand Wagoneer. I will show you. Let me see if I, I have to turn the whole the phone around. So it's got a 360 AMC and uh, it was a just a giant vacuum leak. Everything was leaking. It was horrible. So, anyway, uh, cleaned up the intake, painted it, new valve covers, and this thing fires right up. And idles great. And it's got fantastic throttle response. Um, you hit the choke, bang. Fires right up, idles good, fast idle. Uh, comes, cranks, cranks down, steps down, and, and idles great. Um, I got my timing set. Uh, <laughs> and then you go to try to take it down the street, and you put it, uh, put it in drive, and it's just, you know, and you, it's, it's like, okay, what is going on? I pull a couple plugs, they're not wet, so okay, am I starving for fuel? Is yeah, is it well I have ordered an HEI distributor. I'm getting rid of this garbage and this motor crap um parts. I went back um and added some extra vacuum lines, like you see this like clear one, this is just temporary. I've just um and there's a method to the madness because I had everything basically removed and capped off. And it's my understanding on the power valve. Sometimes if you got, if it's got too much vacuum, uh, they'll stay shut and you'll have a hard time getting moving down the road. Um, so I went that route. I've went, um, uh, my, Vacuum advance off a ported vacuum, off a manifold vacuum. I've checked it. Uh, I've checked it with a vac gauge, um, uh, with a vac pump um, on my on my vacuum advance. Um, however, I'm getting rid of this distributor. I think that it's off there as well. I removed the top cover of the carburetor. All right, there's uh, six bolts earlier. Check the float, and it was a little off. It's supposed to be like seven sixteenths um, measured down, and it was a little lower. It was it was a little, just a, it wasn't quite nine sixteenths, but it was about a half. And so I adjusted that, and of course when I went to tighten up this this screw right here had been stripped out from whoever remanufactured it. Um, so they stripped it. And uh, and I was wondering, because when I pulled the plate off, the, the gasket back there was wet. Um, so, you know, of course I dried the gasket off and put it back on, but this screw back here, we do have another carb. This is a, uh, what is it, 5150 motor crap. Um, so, in the meantime, I'm waiting on uh, an HEI distributor. So I'm going to get rid of all this, uh, you know, the coil and the funky doodad over there on the on the uh, fender well, the ignition box. It's just garbage. Whole thing's garbage. But once again, though, I was, you know, the plugs aren't wet. So I'm like, okay, it's got to be fuel starved. I just uh I don't know. I'm I'm still in the process of uh trying to get I've got a whole list of stuff. I'm just going down the, the just checking off on the list. You know. So anyway, that's kind of where I'm at. And but yeah, you fire this thing up, it idles beautiful. Just I mean I'm getting 17 HGs on the vacuum, man. It's perfect. Dead nuts. 
but then you try to put it in gear going on. And the funny thing is, is that I, I of course, Google it, and on the Jeep forums, I mean, you. Could, it seems like everybody's had the problem, and I and nobody's figured it out over the course of the last fifteen years. I find no resolution. I, I sit there and go through it, and it's like none, 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 none. You know, it's just kind of like, okay, is there a short and a wire? Uh, how about a spark plug wire? You know, um, so I'm just, uh, I'm not going to kill myself over it, but, uh, you know, I'll get it figured out eventually, but man, oh man, what a pain in the butt. Well, anyway, I hope everybody has a Merry Christmas and, uh, I want to get this thing going down the road doing smoky burnouts. I'll let everybody know. Yippee. Bye.